Hey guys, I'm Mills. I'm Chris. Today we're going to tell you if we regret doing a surprise gender and why we did one. Our baby is eight months old. He just turned eight months. Uh, we decided to do a surprise gender. Well, whose idea was it? It was both. both I feel like I brought it up first. The reason why, you can probably hear him right now. The reason why I wanted to do a surprise gender was a lot of my friends did one and they said that it was like the most amazing thing that they've ever done in their entire lives and it was the best surprise ever. So because of that, I was like, okay, maybe I should do one too. And then why did you want to do one? I just thought it would be a cool thing to do, just, you know, wait and, and, and see. I feel like he didn't really care either way. Um, the most important thing for us was that we didn't care either way whether we had a boy or a girl. I feel like that really impacted the decision because if he really wanted a girl and I really wanted a boy and then we had the baby and there was like some level of disappointment, I feel like we wouldn't have done it. But you had no preference, right? Mm -hmm. So I also feel like gender reveals now are just like completely just like a whole nother party which i totally get pregnancy's hard and it's super exciting so everyone wants to celebrate but i kind of feel like the gender reveals sometimes are just like too much emphasis on whether it's a boy or a girl and like the importance of that yeah i feel like people get like go all out uh, on gender reveals and then they Kind of like put their trust in like you know what they think is gonna be in and out. That's not like my vibe or, or anything. I just you know yeah. I'm like we'll we'll find out when it comes out and then uh, whatever it is, uh, it's a blessing you know. Yeah, and I feel like the gender reveals where you see like the dad or the mom like cry or get mad are just weird, honestly. Like if I was at a gender reveal and one of the parents was like legit like crying, I would be like, I don't even know what to do. However, that being said, I do know gender dis disappointment is a real thing and some people really do have a preference and for whatever reason and um, do you get upset, which is fine. I just feel like at a reveal or a party, it's, it can be a little bit awkward. Um, so we just really felt like it was it's the once and only surprise, I feel like. There aren't many surprises for adults in life, at least not good ones, right? I feel like it's all like bills and stuff. So we thought that this would be a good and fun surprise. And then the most special part was, how did we find out? It, when the baby was coming out, uh, you know, the head came out first. I, I didn't know, and the body, and then uh, as soon as I saw the part, his part, I so I shot it. Uh, it's a boy, so yeah, it and was exciting. Uh, we caught that on video. Yeah, it was super we, cute. We told the nurse to just take a couple of pictures, but apparently she <laughs> recorded the whole uh, birth. So the whole birth, like very graphic. Very. <laughs> So. But the most important part was him saying like it's a boy or it's a girl and we got that on video It was super cute and it was really emotional um, Any regrets about do you regret not finding out? No, I don't regret it at all I love the way we did it and I also am really glad because I don't like super gendered clothes like the really pink headbands and tutus and stuff like that I also don't like the weird like sayings on shirts for either like the boys that are like I love older women or like ladies man. Um, that for us not our vibe. Um, if you yeah. want to do whatever you want to do, just right. Of feel course. Free to do it. That's your <laughs> of vibe. Course. Business. But for but we, us, we don't. No. We don't. Um, we don't really like. That's like not within us. You, you know, saying just oh let's do a gender reveal with you know, all these people and all these like all these. Kind of different stuff we, we would never do that yeah and we really didn't care and then all like i don't like the shirts that say like daddy said i can never date or something weird like i, I don't like that stuff but uh if you do that's totally fine that was another reason that we didn't find out because people bought us like all gender neutral stuff which was really nice so a lot of like solids and of course like colors but uh none of those like sayings and things like that so mm -hmm. it kind of worked out, right? Mm -hmm. Any regret or any con of not finding out? None for you? For me, no regrets. 
I love doing it that way. The only thing is I love to plan. I love to know what to expect. I'm like type A, uh, so it was hard for me to not know. And I think when you're pregnant, you really want to like envision the baby and its life and everything. And then I was like, is it going to be a boy, a girl? And it's hard to like picture when you don't know, you know, it's just so many possibilities. Yeah, uh, the name part was uh, kind of uh, difficult, you know, like not knowing whether it's a boy or girl, like you, you gotta, you know, have your options ready. And we, yeah. we kind of like have had his option, but yeah. for, for the girl, we had like five or so six many at least options that were like kind of like the ones that we liked the most. Yeah. But uh, it was, you know, I feel like I feel like if it, if it, if it would have been a girl, it would, it would it be been hard. Never, if it was a girl, it, it, it probably would have been hard to name her. Because, you know, we didn't have that. Yeah, we had like a long, <laughs> long list. Uh, that was probably his only thing. Uh, mine would be more planning, like knowing what to get, what not to get. Um, for the little kind of like gendered things. And then the other thing is like the connection thing. I felt like an instant bond with him and connection, but I did have bad postpartum anxiety and I don't know if any of it was related to that but I do feel like uh knowing a little bit more what to expect and like hi being able to envision him maybe would help I don't know and will we do a surprise gender for the next baby no <laughs> why if you we'll, say you didn't regret it we'll find out and uh I mean, I, I don't like monotony, so I I I like to switch it vary, up. Yeah, like you know, vary and stuff. Yeah. And um, yeah, we'll just find out, and then um, we'll plan everything, and then we'll have the name ready. You're early. shaking the whole table. And yeah, it's it's just one time ex one time yeah. life experience. And you know? it is a once in a lifetime opportunity, which is awesome. And I think we would find out, but then we would do like a very small like family. Okay thing we yeah. just find out with close, a cake or a confetti thing but nothing something you know creative small cons uh, small you know close family friends maybe a video or something you know yeah something a game so next time we probably will find out we'll do something chill and small and easy hi baby <laughs> hi hi and we can't wait i what do you want boy or girl next i don't care no preference at all? No. Not even like... No. Not even like 5%? No. <laughs> now he's getting his face attacked. Me, I think I want a girl, but I wouldn't be disappointed if we had a boy. Uh, <laughs> that's our cue. I guess he's hungry. But honestly, whatever way you decide to do it, totally works for you. They're perfect, whether you have a boy or girl. Gender disappointment is real, and I know friends that have had it, and it sounds like it is definitely a struggle. But um, I know that once that baby comes, I highly doubt that there will be any any problems with that. But if there is, you're not alone. So there's that. Um, but if you're thinking about surprise gender, I don't regret it at all. It was amazing. It was such a fun surprise. Um, just cannot even like tell you enough how cool it was to find out in the delivery room. If you have any questions, uh, you know, if you feel like we didn't talk about something, just let us know in the comment section below. And I will make sure your questions are addressed. <laughs> make sure you're subscribed. We have videos about motherhood, lifestyle, DR stuff, and uh, new videos every single week. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys soon.